Good evening. Welcome to the Crocs, coming to you live from Channel Television Studios in Abuja. With me, Kadria Ahmed. In this edition, the second in a series of three programs on Nigeria's power sector, we examine an integral part of the electricity chain, the transmission network. What is it? What does it do? What role does it play in our ability or inability to get power in our homes and in our places of work? Specifically, why do some experts say our transmission network poses a significant barrier to our attempts to increase access to electricity in Nigeria. Before we dive into this discussion, let's take a look at this video, which tells us a little bit about the conversation we are going to have. What is the power grid and why should it matter to you? The grid is an interconnected network for delivering electricity from the main source of power generation to various customers. A grid consists of generating stations that produce electrical power, high voltage transmission lines that then carry the power from the sources to demand centers or distribution companies which then use lower voltage lines to provide power to individual customers. Take Ade for example, who lives in Ojota. Ade has a television a fridge and an air conditioner in his home. The cables that are on poles outside Ade's house go into a transformer and from there to his meter which in turn goes into all the wires to provide power for Ade's home. Power plants regardless of the source whether gas or hydro generate electricity at levels that are not high enough to travel over long distances. So, to give the electricity enough strength to travel along distances, it is increased to 330 kilovolts in a transformer or substation. From here, the electricity passes through high capacity cables. These are the big thick wires you see mainly along our highways. However, while this capacity is needed for long distance transportation, it cannot be allowed into our homes. Otherwise, Ade will find all his appliances fried. So, once the power arrives its destination, it has got to be reduced before we can consume it. Transformers are used to reduce the high tension to the 220 voltage that we have in our sockets. So, Ade can power his fridges and air conditioning. Occasionally, this process fails and we get power that isn't strong enough which in our parlance is low current or even more dangerous power that is too high. Today, Nigeria has about 27 power plants which are generating electricity by using either gas or hydro. If you add up the generating capacity of these plants, it makes up what is called the installed capacity. That is, in theory, the country has the capacity to generate about 12,000 megawatts of power. So, why is the nation still struggling with 4,500 megawatts on a daily basis? There are two main reasons. Problems with a grid and problem with gas supplies. The grid in its current state can transmit only about 5,500 megawatts of power. That is its current capacity. Add more and the grid will collapse. Some gas power stations have never received any gas. Some plants haven't even had gas pipelines connected to them since their commissioning. So really, they cannot generate power. And then, there are the constant attacks by Niger Delta militants on gas pipelines that feed the functional power plants. The current grid as we know it was largely built and expanded during the 1960s. By then, the electricity was enough for a much smaller population. With a growing population of about 180 million people, it is estimated that Nigeria will need as much as 160,000 megawatts of electricity to become a successful industrialized nation. Expanding and fixing the grid requires huge investments. 
just one kilometer of the high voltage cable cost 100 million naira. Expanding the transmission grid is likely to cost more than two billion dollars per year. That is 600 billion naira each year. To put it in perspective, it's 10% of the total 2017 annual budget of Nigeria. In the years between 1999 to 2015, the Nigerian government has spent about 2 trillion naira on the power sector alone, yet not more than 2,800 megawatts was added to the grid. Meanwhile, the transmission company of Nigeria says it has developed a five-year grid expansion plan which should increase the grid capacity to 20,000 megawatts by 2022, with additional megawatts coming from hydro, from wind, and significant megawatts from solar, and mostly using the abundant gas for more power plants in Lagos, Edo, Calabar, Ihobo, and Amotosho. The questions, though, remain. How much do we need to spend? What will that give us? How long will it take? And is that the best solution to solving the electricity shortage we face?